everybody and welcome on Cooking with Cécile. Hi, my name is Cécile, this is George. And if you remember last time, George learned how to cook water. Oh, no, I learned like... how to cook water, but I learned how to eat. All I did through the whole show yeah. was go, mm, mm, so. <laughs> Okay, last time we made this uh, uh, mandatory uh, Christmas dessert, which is the Yulog. Coffee buttercream you log and today and it was delicious. Oh, it was horrible, I know. But uh, <laughs> today it's a completely different type of food because like, it is still very French. It is it has even a history because actually we are gonna make pulo po, which is actually a, a poached chicken. It's supposed to be a hen, but bon, we cannot find a hen around here. So I I had to get a very good quality chicken. I hope it's gonna be a very good quality <laughs> chicken. And basically, Pulopo was uh, something that uh, King Henry IV uh, kind of asked his people to have every Sunday uh, to make sure they would have at least a decent meal once a week. And at home, I must say that it is kind of what we do also. Um, uh, when I want to make sure we get together, we gather around the table, and when I want to make sure my kids are very happy with that, what I'm going to bring on the table, I make that. It's a very comfort food. It not only it's comfort food, but it's very healthy. And most importantly, what I like about that, it is a very easy way to make your own very high quality chicken stock which is so important during the winter because chicken stock has tremendous properties as long as you don't buy the ready-made brick kind of uh, chicken stock. When you make your own, you can control your, your ingredients. You can put only ingredients that are originally antibacterial, ant antiviral, you know, uh, antiseptics. I know that because it's the kind, all the ingredients I'm gonna put in that stock it actually exists as aromatherapy products. They are essential oils. And I am an aromatherapist, so I use these products to, to, to heal my patients with it. But what I want to show today is you don't need to be an aromatherapist to use the very, you know, all these properties that nature gave us. You can completely enjoy your food and make at the same time something highly curative because chicken stock is curative as long as it is, as it is you know, well made. Well, they say a good chicken soup is like uh, it's a you know, Jewish penicillin. That's exactly. what they call it. Exactly. So. All right, well, let's get started. Uh, this is something you, people can make at home on a Sunday. It's a great Sunday Voila. dinner. Okay. It, and everybody, everybody, now, the big trend is make sure that everybody gets together at least once a week to eat together and not because it is healthy for the family. Eh, but this is the perfect kind of dish. So with this, it is going to be a stuffed chicken. We, I have all the ingredients over there to stuff it, to poach it. This is this poaching action that's going to create the stock, actually. We'll have all these root vegetables to go with it. So we'll have a very beautiful dish of healthy meat, healthy stock, uh, healthy veggies, and then for the dessert, I couldn't resist. I'm going to make something very, very French that is also a huge um, comfort food for from very, very from really anyone from A to Z, from babies to grandparents. It's something for everybody. Et voilà, yes. floating island. For those who went to France, maybe you had that because it's a bistro kind of dessert. It is um, vanilla uh, custard, very light, with um, a poached meringue on it, which is, you know, remember we made meringue last time? Yes. We made the little mushrooms I with did, it? Yeah. But this time it won't go to the oven, it won't go, it, it will be poached in water and placed on top of the cream. And usually we can drizzle some uh, caramel on, on it. But this time we won't do that. We'll make little cat tongs, long de chat. Cat tongues. Cat okay. tongues, yeah, okay. with crunchy little biscuits that go with it. Very, very addictive little biscuits. So it's all about comfort food today, but healthy comfort food. All right, so, so tell us what we're starting out. You've voilà. got a chicken. Tell us your ingredients Alors, for the people at home. Well, so of course it is an organic chicken, mm -hmm. okay, as much as possible. In this one, I was lucky. I got the liver that I chopped in here because we're going to put the liver in the stuffing. I have some ground veal. I have a little bit of cubed pancetta in here, but you can use uh, bacon, regular bacon. I have some uh, bread. Uh, I have some cream, but it's in the fridge mm -hmm. to moisten my bread. 
uh, that we'll use also for the sauce because we'll make a cream sauce with that. We have some shallots. We'll have some mushroom that we can still add if we want at the end to the cream sauce. We have some butter and, and flour for the sauce later. This is for the, the cookies and we'll, we'll make. But for the stuffing, it's that, okay. mainly that. So what we have to do is to basically, regarding how much we need to fill that little cavity in here. And how many pounds would you say this is? Uh, you know, it's really according to how many you are at home. You know, uh, if, you know, usually what I make in here, we are four at home, but we rarely have, we, we still have leftovers. But you probably still cook for 10. No. No. For okay. six. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 for six. Because you, you never know. know when you have company. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, the, the main thing in here is to have this chicken stock and to have some leftover cooked chicken that you can use from, you know, many, many things. To make soup. So in here... Okay, so in here we mix up the, the ground veal, the pancetta, the chopped chicken liver, some shallot. Tiens, Georges, can you put sure. that over there for me? Voila, it is kind of mandatory when you make a, a, a little stuffing like that is to moisten some um, bread, either with cream, either with milk. So like with three, like a fourth cup? Maybe it's just to moisten your bread. Okay. You know, it's not a big deal. Whatever you know, it's just to have that. Mm -hmm. See, get a nice texture. Voila. It's all we we need in there. And then, voilà. Tiens, Georges, you can put that over there. Okay. You're my assistant. And then we break an egg in there. One egg. And this is the disgusting part, but I love it. Yes. <laughs> well, I'm glad, I'm glad you're doing it. <laughs> and maybe you can bring me the salt and the pepper. Okay. Voila, you can a little bit, yeah, pepper for me and well, and salt. And what kind of salt do you usually like to uh, use? I like, bon, usually coarse, thanks. Sea salt so, or? Ah, oui, 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 sea mm -hmm. salt. You know, usually I use something like Guérande. It's a, it's a salt we have in France, in Brittany. It's a natural salt gray if, if possible or in here it's not always available but see very easy alors if you want you, you can add some chopped uh, parsley or something like that in there or any type of uh, um, herb voila so this stuffing is ready so now, now how did you prepare this did you have to clean eh ben the no, just it was already cleaned up it's not okay. even funny okay. i like uh, you know when i was little my grandma, she had chickens like that, and when we were coming, she would kill one. <laughs> Even <laughs> rabbits, she would do that for us. And then I would play the surgeon. She would let me put my little hand in there and take the, 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 the eggs, the eggs, the, the liver, everything. So it was a real anatomy class. <laughs> but in the store, you can buy it already cleaned out. <laughs> eh oui, unfortunately. Yeah. Good. I Good. wish I could get one that has, but mm -hmm. I don't. Anyway, not for everyone. So it is already disgusting enough for some to have to, f to do what I'm doing right now, you know, that. <laughs> voilà, to stuff but that. But the end result will be delicious, ah, so, oui. you know. Oui, voilà. It is worth it. Me, I have no problem putting my hands in dirty places like that, but it's, which is not dirty. To me, it's not dirty. Voilà, alors that is that. It's very easy. Now we have to close it. Alors, we use the... <laughs> <laughs> the turkey stuffing thing. The turkey stuffing thing. Yeah, okay. I call it the turkey stuffing thing, because the it's only like a metal. Uh, voila! Know. It's a uh, you know they sell you that everywhere when you want to stuff your turkey. Voila! And that keeps it in when you're cooking. Et voila! Okay. It's much easier than using a needle. Oh, very good. Voila! Tiens, if you can get me some scissors. Sure. You can find that somewhere. Or there might be some in here. Or you might even have to use a knife. A knife, whatever. Okay, here, I think we might have to. What I want to show is you just have to wrap that here. I think they are all over there, no? The knives. Hmm. Let's put a 
we have a big one. We got this. Voila, there we a go. big knife. Voila, see, we have, we have closed up this little butt. All right, so we're going to put this in the oven for how long? No, not in the oven. La. Oh. In the water. Okay. It's a poached. Poached chicken. It's, it's taking a bath. So we're going to take a bath. We're going to poach this. And then we... With, and with some little garnish things, you know, like laurel and garlic and peppercorn and thyme and curcuma. I like adding curcuma everywhere because it's healthy. Voila. And you're going to put your root vegetables in there too? Later. Later. I'm going to okay. let it cook first because it takes longer. And when that is almost cooked, I'm going to add the vegetables to it. Okay, so right now voilà. we're going to take a short break. Um, we're going to let this cook. Now, how long do we let this cook for? Alors, if you want a very, very good um, stock, you want it three hours at a little. Well, but we don't care today because we want to you, actually eat the chicken and make something good with it. So, you know, 45 minutes. But in this pot, it's going to be much quicker. If you have... Um, uh, you know, how do you call that? A pressure cooker? It's going to take you half an hour. All right, so in a pressure cooker, half hour, and maybe a little longer if we do it this way. So we're going to take voilà. a short break, and we'll be back with the next step. Which is cooking the veggies, making the dessert. Stay tuned. All right, we're back from the break. We've been pr prepping a lot of stuff here. We got the chicken, oh, yeah. the poached chicken cooking. We have our milk ready, and now we're going to make the floating <laughs> island, better known as? Il flottant. Il bon, alors, compte. quickly, yeah. To make a little flottante, you need some crème anglaise, which is custard, British custard. Mm -hmm. So we have to heat up the milk, okay? While the milk is heating up, I separate the eggs. We have the yolks in here. And I'm going to add the vanilla sugar because, you know, I'm too lazy. To <laughs> I make my vanilla sugar in advance, which is that I stir in a food processor mm -hmm. my sugar with vanilla pods, real vanilla pods, and it makes this incredibly... Can you smell that? It's I can. What kind of vanilla do you use? I use vanilla pods, okay. you know, the real ones that you, mm -hmm. I cut in half, and I put it in my sugar, and I mix it, and that's it. And, you know, this way, the sugar is hyper fine, so it's, it's you know, it's very easy to melt in the, in the yolk. And here, I just... Ah, I temper. I have to temper. No. Tempering means that you don't add the whole milk to in once in your yolks. Voila. Ah, it's hot. Careful. It's hot. Voila. A little bit of manipulation here. And we put it back in there. The yolks and the sugar. And that's it. And George is going to stir that. It has to be. Part. <laughs> it has to be alors, slowly. Okay. Because, oh. because we want to make it. Alors, attends, we have to lower the temperature. It cannot boil. If that boils, it's over. So that's why you have, you know, this whisk has a flat side mm -hmm. like that. You're going to stay on the bottom like that and go on the bottom. Okay. And as soon as you see, the, you know, right now we have a kind of a foam on top of the cream. As soon as you see this foam disappear, you, 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 you catch me. You call okay. me. Okay. And yeah, and this is a, a tricky point there, okay? Because that can boil and we don't want it to boil. See, alors that chicken is cooking now that it is making this little noise we know that we have to lower let's see we make it voila much lower once you know so when you don't have a pressure cooker you put it in a big pot stock pot you let it boil once it boils you lower it and you let it simmer simmer a nice simmer not covered for like a good hour okay so in the meantime so this is the egg whites for the floating islands, but we'll take care of that when you are done with the cream. Mm -hmm. What we want to do now, we'll do the cat tongs. Alors, I love these for the cat tongs, so we need melted butter. Huh? We need, alors, it's very precise, actually four egg whites. For those who don't know how to <laughs> separate egg whites, here it is, very easy. 
no need to bother with um, I don't know what we won't need the 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 yolks we are gonna just use the whites so what we need now is to use the voila we're gonna need this vanilla sugar which is very important uh, vanilla sugar we could use the whole thing actually what we want to do is first to beat the egg whites in here so i have this little beater it is so cute or maybe we you know what let's beat the, the egg whites let's beat the egg whites and finish that cream and we can come back right when we are done with that stay tuned i'm just gonna stare stir all right we are back with let's cook with cecile and we're doing a three-course um dinner here and an entree and two desserts uh, so we, what are we doing next uh, we left we, while you were finishing that cream in here that we strained it is a beautiful vanilla cream mm -hmm. that will uh, host our little floating islands you know this is the water it's going to be the island on the water it's not really a water it's a you know, much better water and i was finishing to whip up these egg whites in which i'm going to add a little bit of the sugar um uh, vanilla sugar mm -hmm. voila just to sweeten it and i wanted to show the texture here you know it's not they are not hyper stiff in here too you know the egg whites for the cat tongs in here are ready and they are not they are they are not bad they are nice and firm but not dried up right. and this is the case in here you know they make the beak in here they are just perfect awesome oh so tiens, i give you that for over there so in here what we'll have to do is to poach that but uh voila i wanted to show you the water uh the water here is not completely boiling it's uh partly boil you know it, it's it has to be um this kind of uh oh, can I use? Voilà, that that is gonna be perfect voilà. what i want to show you is how we make it voilà it has to be voila not completely boiling but almost simmering kind of simmering yeah mm -hmm. Where, and then we we well we let we let some dollops of egg whites fall in it i'm gonna make this one a little bit bigger i'm gonna make them a little bit bigger like that it's like the meringue we made for the yule log but mm -hmm. uh, this time it's gonna be in the water some make it even in milk okay and then we have to make sure that voila we rise the temperature a little bit but we don't want it to boil we want it to just poach like that okay perfect watch that make sure it doesn't okay. uh, voila it's it's gonna be like that for okay. one minute at the most and we okay. have to 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 stir i mean to reverse Turn that time. so i'm okay. gonna give you that okay so in the meantime in here i have the ingredients for the cat tongue so i have the melted butter that is now nice and cooled down because we don't want it hot in here we're gonna add the sugar i have my vanilla sugar in here vanilla is very important now i brought some essential oils because you can uh, flavor your cat tongues with everything you like i love with it with a tiny bit of almond so i use voila almond essential oil but you could use lemon also what is what is great with essential oil in, in in food like that is that you know it is not a fake artificial kind of flavor you want the real one and when you use a drop of lemon like that you can ah it's boiling turn it turn it when you uh, use you lemon you want it to be you know you, you know that in a drop you're gonna have the full flavor of it mm -hmm. let me get a proper spoon for that like voila perfect there this we go. one okay up okay, up voila so you're kind of poaching on both sides voila okay 
Beautiful. And we want to keep it from boiling, boiling. Okay. Voila. And I prepared in here uh, uh, paper to absorb the water before we put it on okay. the... Okay, all right, I'll keep my eye on it. Voila, keep your eye on I think that we can even stop the heat in there. Okay. So we have the sugar and the butter. We're going to add the flour in there. So I have added a, a drop of almond almond essential oil for the flavor. We can we could perfectly add only just to you know vanilla would be enough huh, or, or lemon. Traditionally the cat tongs are with vanilla. In here we have a lot of vanilla <laughs> because I mixed my vanilla pod. Nice. Oh yeah. And then we add these voilà, egg whites, beaten egg whites. That I think you can remove them now, George. Okay. Yeah, you can transfer them on the paper. Well, I'm gonna do that. It's not tricky. You don't need to make sure that uh, uh, your egg whites are still there. You know, you can. Well, you don't need to be harsh on on, on that dough, but you don't. It doesn't need to be treated especially delicately you know it's not a high maintenance type of cookie dough of course it doesn't have anything to do with the real regular type of cookie we have in here that's why it's so interesting to make you discover something like that voila see that it's gonna nice make consistency oh yeah it's gonna make incredible little cookies so here we have a bag pastry bag we have yeah, a little, uh, I don't know how you call that. We call it a douille in, in France. Mm -hmm. Not too, not too big. You could da do that only with a spoon, huh? but it's cuter if it has the proper cat tongue shape. Cat tongs are nice and uh, not too big and uh, delicate and uh, that's why. <laughs> I discovered recently the name spotted dick. Mm -hmm. And the, the British, they have a... Yeah. You, you know that? Yeah. I've, uh, well, I've spotted. been to London, and that's a, that's a dessert called exactly. spotted, spotted Dick. Exactly. So, so, you know, Spotted Dick is very different from Cat Pong, you know. It's right. But see, very... Im im a, a big image, I would say. How do you call that? <laughs> image. Voila. So, let's make our Cat Tongs here. Voila get this out of your way for voilà. you. So don't make them too close, otherwise they're going to join together. Now we're going to put these in the oven after? Yeah. For how at, long? At 350 until they have a nice little golden edge. Okay. Voilà. And we'll be back when these get out of the oven. I, have, I still right. have to make the cream sauce that's, that will top the whole thing you know mm -hmm. so here we have uh, we melt some butter you have the recipe uh, you have the ingredients for the for the cream sauce so what we'll make is what we call um, actually a roux okay a roux is when the butter is melted you add the flour in there and Do you, want you this yes okay here We're having oven problems, but we're going to turn those on. <laughs> Here we go. That's because I touched it. Yes, it's normal. <laughs> and yeah, okay, so you add the flour, you put it in your butter, and you're going to let it cook a little bit. We call it making a roux. You, 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 call it, you, you, you cook it quickly just to neutralize the, the taste of the flour. You don't want any flourish taste in your, in your sauce. So th this is what we use to thicken any type of sauce, actually. And it is, for instance, uh, <laughs> I remember the first time we made uh, a gravy at Thanksgiving with for, for, for America, an American family. We made that to, <laughs> to thicken their gravy. And they were like, oh, how did you make that? Yeah, but you know, you can thicken anything. So see? Exactly. With that. So it's very easy at all. Now that the butter is bubbling with the flour, we can, uh, of course, what I have to say is I removed the chicken from the stock. Now I have this beautiful homemade stock. 
and I'm gonna add that to my uh, my hot the, the the chicken stock is hot also and you you'll see that it's gonna thicken very quickly it smells nice yeah and then we want to add uh, a good deal of cream it's a very nice organic cream as much as possible don't take the you know try to stick to the organic whipping cream because this way you're gonna get much less uh, ingredients that you don't need in there. So that is gonna thicken very quickly. And what we can do is flavor it with raw mushrooms. This is a technique we call to make a velouté. When we make a velouté out of the same recipe, which, gonna, which is gonna be actually a, a mushroom soup, more or less, you make that. But this is also to flavor any velouté cream like that. Velouté means that it's very, you know, silky, creamy and everything. So we're going to let it thicken. And when it thickens, we're going to put it right on our plates. And we'll show it to you and taste it with you. And you'll see, you won't forget it. You have to do it at home. We'll come back right away when that is thickened. So we'll be back with the finished uh, entree. Exactly. So we are back with Let's Cook with Cecile. We have all our finished... Dishes, voila! <laughs> so tell us. It is done. So I let that my little velouté thicken. So now it is ready. And I'm going to ladle that in here. It smells nice. Can you tell? Ah, la, la. You can, you know, you can put some just over the meat or over anything you like. Mm -hmm. But don't make soup in, in the dish. So here we have that. And... Here we have our little ville flottante with our little langue de chat. And we have a beautiful Riesling ah, that yeah, you yeah. have, oh, là, tiens, alors. which pairs up good exactly. well with this. It's my Alsatian thing, you know, to have <laughs> Riesling. Otherwise, you know, you, you know, you could choose a type of Bourgogne or Bordeaux, but uh, hey, cheers. Cheers to you and thank you for making another ah, oui, great dinner. Uh, and I have to say, I have to look at your face when you taste some of that. So dig on anything. Okay, here we go. Mm. <laughs> mm. Uh, isn't it mm. horrible? Did you try the stuffing with the sauce? Yeah. Mm. How would you describe that? Is it something that you make? In Heaven. The, yeah. Mm. So when I told you it was comfort food, uh, and it's, there is nothing fried, nothing, you know, it's only from scratch, very simple ingredients, very fresh ingredients. You can make This would be kids. great to serve on a Sunday if you have guests. I mean, it's perfect. Mm. It's mm. perfect. And perfect with the wine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, guys, cheers, and see you next time. We'll find something uh, also <laughs> kind of healthy comfort in because it's winter before it gets different for, for spring. Eh? But soon, we'll see you soon. Cheers. Cheers. See you soon. <laughs> <laughs>